Hey YouTube friends, OIF Eagle here, and word on the street is that YouTube is doing away with the video response feature. Um, and there's a lot of uproar about this. A lot of people are a little pissed off, and I understand that completely. Uh, mostly because it is a very handy tool when you're doing contests or if you, if you just want people's input to your video responses. Now, I guess YouTube has a problem with this because these video responses do not generate a lot of views. And YouTube's in it for the money, so if you're not watching a lot of these videos, they see no reason to keep posting these videos. So this, they're having slight issue with this. Uh, that's that's my assumption. That's my theory on this. And uh, you know what? It, it all comes down to money anyway. So that that's got to have something to do with it. Now, um, personally, I don't think this is going to be a big as of a problem as people say it will be because, uh, again, YouTube's saying that they're talking about allowing uh, hyperlinks in the comments section so if you do make a video response you can just link to it in the comments uh, the problem is it's it's going to be a little bit more of a hassle it opens up the possibility for spam and of course if you do a contest you're going to have to go through uh, you know pages and pages of comments to find those video responses so the problem is it's not broken yet they're screwing it up so here's my proposal, and uh, hopefully this uh, may send a message if enough people get in on it. And there's actually, I, I think this may be helpful, so hear me out. So apparently there's this algorithm out there that they're using to determine how many views these video responses are receiving. Well, anyone who's got a channel that posts videos regularly uh, can go to analytics and they can find those top three to five videos that have generated a lot of views. My proposal is that you find a video of a, of a friend, maybe one of your subs out there, that doesn't have any video responses to it, and you leave a video response and you link your top video to theirs in a video response. And what this will do is it will completely screw up YouTube's algorithm uh, that, or whatever they're using to determine how many uh, how popular these VRs are because they're going to look and say well hey this VR has got 50,000 views to it and you know maybe they'll realize that you know what this isn't uh, a good way to determine what we should cut and what we shouldn't cut and of course we can go on forever saying that alright it is their product they can do what they want with it but in my opinion when you have a product out there that a lot of other people have invested time, effort, and yes, money into, it's not really your product so much anymore. Meaning that it's the people who use it that are giving it a pulse and keeping the heart of it beating. So you have a lot of these other people who have invested in your product. Quit screwing with it. Uh, I'm sure Facebook can take uh, some of that advice as well. And, you know, again, that, that came and bit them in the butt, too, when, when they decided to completely screw up something that wasn't broken. And I know that when you have a product out there, you kind of want to keep upgrading it to make it new and exciting. But I think that's really detri detrimental to whatever service you're providing out there. Quit screwing with it if it isn't broken. Maybe I'm just too old and I don't like change as much. I just don't like having to relearn crap all over. And just when they get, I get used to something, they screw it up again. Anyway, so what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go and I'm going to find my, my top three videos. And I'm going to go video respond them to some channel out there. Probably someone who doesn't have a lot of views. You know, maybe give them a, you know, a little kickstart as well. And anyway, uh, let me know what you think. And by all means, leave a video response. This is OF Eagle out.